Peace of the Most High be unto all of your souls, beloved spirit, brothers and sisters. As we sit here, we gather this evening to sit here and share a word. Amen. Always the word of God is encouragement. It is reproof. It's correction. It's it's love. Amen. In the most loving way. And that's in the truth and what he expects of his called, his chosen, his elect. Amen. Uh, to find ourselves walking on that narrow path. Then very few shall find that scripture says. Because they have many people are first and foremost untrained up in the ways of righteousness through the Holy Ghost. Amen. In truth, because their righteousness is wrong. Many of ours, many of we think we're doing righteous because we, we let me ask you a question. Would you consider smoking righteousness? Would we consider drinking a form of righteousness? Would we consider being righteous or even trying if we're being perverse and crooked in the way that we speak, corrupt, cursing? Is that any way a form of any kind of righteousness, spirit children? Amen? Spirit brothers and sisters. Is uh, being adulterous or fornication, being busybodies, refraining from unrighteousness to righteousness? Because we're from a slave to sin to a slave of righteousness. From a slave to disobedience to obedience. No more rebellious, but to be obedient in serving the Most High in spirit and in truth. Amen. He doesn't only say the love, but he says in truth. That many people find it so hard to speak the truth, beloved spirit, brothers and sisters. And if you're not speaking truth and you are being selective and diminishing the word of God, is that love? I've asked that question many times, but many people cannot answer that honestly and truthfully. You know, but you can deceive yourself all the day long, but on judgment day, there will be no excuse. Amen. Praise God. You know, today, I, I, and it's been in my in my spirit, downloaded by the Holy One, always uh, uh, through the Holy Spirit that uh, guides us and leads us and opens our eyes and our understanding, not of this world, but from above. Amen. And he gives that to those that he sees fit. The Bible says, the Bible says that he gives his spirit to those that obey him and who he chooses. Not just because you profess Christ, spirit child, or spirit, you, are you are you full of the Holy Ghost? Because if you're full, of, if you are any part of the the Holy Father's spirit, and you've drunk out of the same death, a cup of death that was with Christ, you no longer be the same. Amen. No if and buts about it, because the Spirit in you is going to convict you. That is of the Holy Father. And you're going to refrain from being disobedient and easily be swayed to be entrapped or ensnared by the flesh or the cunning and craftiness of those that profess out their clay lips. Like many Christians, quote unquote, say that they love you, but they're afraid to speak the truth to you. They're, far, they're afraid to be separated, to be to touch no one, to separate yourselves, come out from, from among them, says the scriptures, come out from among them, spirits. Amen, spirit children. Come out from among them in the mighty name of Christ, Yahuwah, Messiah, Jesus. Amen. And be separate. Be ye separate. Not only does it say be ye separate, but he says be ye holy, for I am holy. And don't ever think that you cannot be holy, child. That's a chain in your own mind. That's your doubt. And if you doubt, if you waver in your faith or your doubt, then that is not faith. Amen? That is not true faith. And it don't matter. I've had people back by it again. Well, you, well, it, it's okay. You can continue living in a trap, in that snare, in that shackle and chain, in that bondage, in that stronghold of your, uh, of your stubborn minds and your rebellious hardened hearts. Because it's your judgment. That's right. It is your judgment. But it's our job as loving ministers of the Most High, disciples of Christ, disciples of the way, followers of the way, 
in spirit and in truth to come over here ordained before the foundations of this world to come and bring the good news that there is salvation in Christ, that there is strength, that, that you can be born again of his spirit if you choose to obey what he says. Amen. Today we're going to sit here and pray and I'm going to read just a few things about the scriptures. Because the Father tells us plainly, everybody, everybody, whether you want to swallow it, choke it up or, 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 or what, gurgle it, throw it up. Because you know what? Y'all don't let the truth pass the throat to get into your heart. You're stiff and hard and hard. You're, you're steep neck. Your steep neck is all creaked up then. That you know what? It gets stuck right there and then you chuck it up. Instead of buck buckling down and let it come through your, your throat so you can get in your heart and get in your soul and cleanse you because you're cleansed by the word. By the word. Amen. We're going to pray. We're going to praise a song or two because I'm, I'm traveling and I'm uh, ministering. Where well, the Lord is ministering. The Holy Spirit does his work on his own. We, we, he just needs willing vessels to go out there. Amen. He just needs your willing vessel. Willing vessel and a willing heart to go out there. Yes, spirit, child. Yes, spirits. Amen. And all of you that have an ear to hear, he needs a willing vessel and a willing heart to obey everything that he says. Not be selective. And that's why many of y'all are unstable, unbalanced, and y'all got this misery, dysfunction, and discord. You ain't got no content, no peace, and all this. You got all that mess going on. And guess what? It's your choice. That's what you chose. Being selective. Amen. The Lord says in the scripture, you speak your word, you speak his word, and you're not living his way. He's going to make you look foolish before folks. And, and, and I know the foolishness has become a natural thing to many people. You don't even care. You have no shame. No shame. Many spirits have no shame. And they continue in that same conduct, spirit child. You continue in that same conduct. Well, you go ahead. But what a price to pay on judgment day, spirit. Amen. Whoa. Whoa is me. Amen. Come on. Let's be honest and let's be real. And many people, you know, when I'm traveling and I'm uh, uh, with people that I have fellowship with, and I tell them, let's get together. You, I, God wants you to see what truth is. God wants you to see in the in reality, not through this device, but in reality what it is to be a new creature in Christ and to be standing on that firm foundation that a lot of y'all shaken up. And man, your foundation cracked up. And you're falling all over back and forth different ways, making excuses to continue living in the same manner, the same misery, same dysfunction, same discord, never progressing. Amen. Many of you never progress and you can't blame the Holy Father. You cannot say you're going to have an excuse on Judgment Day because he has set you free, has set captives free. The Holy Spirit doesn't work selective. It's not. It's all powerful. All knowing. He knows your weaknesses and he knows how to give you strength. But you choose to sit here and be like that dog that returns back to his vomit. Amen. Y'all like that. Y'all licking it right on up. And everybody else is vomit too right along with y'all. Amen. Let's be honest and let's be real. Praise the Lord. Amen. Most high. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this opportunity to give us to share your word. This meal, Father. This meal that's nourishing, that's refreshing, that is truth. That will set many people free if they're, if they're willing to be... Stop being wiggle nicks. I know what he think he do. The spirits that are within him that are rebellious, that are stubborn, that are stiff necks. We bind them in the mighty name of Christ Yeshua, Messiah, Jesus, and cast them out in the mighty. Because we know, do it for your name's sake, for your glory, Holy Father. Just to show them how awesome that you are. That even through this device, you can do it. You can, you can set captives free from those that are professing your word, speaking life into you, them dry and dead bones, all crispied up out there, Father God, that are sitting and falling all over the place and trying to blame the world and all this for their own misery that they choose to sit here and walk with. But we bind that doubt in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, Messiah, that fear, Father God, to be separated and be that new creature in you, raised from death to life, Father God. We're loosening from the kingdom of heaven your strength, your courage, your Holy Spirit. Let it cut loose, Father God, from all the whole face of this earth where it shadowed, Father God, where it 
stood before. So you commanded it to go anywhere, commanding it in the mighty name of Christ Yeshua Messiah to bring deliverance to those that truly have faith and believe in your word and the power of the Holy Ghost that can do all things, Father God. Not selective, you're going to do, you're going to clean them right on up. Let your spirit wash over us, Holy Father. Let your spirit wash over our hearts. Cleanse this land in this area where I am at, where your where your servants are at, Father God. We're asking you to work on our behalf, to cleanse our hearts so these the prayers could be acceptable to you, Lord. We love you, Lord, and we thank you. We glorify you. We honor. Be magnified to us. Let your Holy Spirit fall on this place. The fire, fire, fire of the Holy Spirit, fire of the Holy Spirit, Father God. And everybody that is asking to pray on their, on their circumstances, on their issues, on their cares, on their concerns, I'm asking you, Father God, to manifest yourself just to show your faithfulness and your loyalness, Father God, that you'll move the mountains, that you'll make paths straight, that you, Father God, can sit here and work out all situations for your, for the good of all those that love you, and just to show how, how awesome and merciful and loving and faithful that you are, gracious that you are, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, with my whole soul, with my whole being, Father God. Be magnified through us, Father God. I ask that your presence be with us always, Lord. And if this praise goes up, let your Holy Spirit come down in your word, Father God. Do its what it was purposed to do, like the scripture says, your word will do what it was set out to do, Father God, whether it's to draw them closer to it and repent, be refreshed in you, renewing themselves with you, Father God, their covenant that they profess out their clay lips, Holy Father, or you can, you're going to make them fall backwards to, keep, to go away because th this, this walk with you is for, the, is for the strong, not for the cowards that draw back into perdition. Only waiting for their dist for their day of condemnation, Father God, for your holy word tells us. Fill them with strength in the mighty name of Christ Jesus, Monsieur Jesus, those who have faith and believe. Let their faith move that mountain. Let their faith sit here and bring bring the hand of you upon their lives and, and, and call out. For you, Father God, and your Holy Spirit, by faith and believing you, I know that you are working in my master Christ is your Monsieur Jesus, in mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise be the most high. Amen. Let us sit here. We're going to sing this. And then I'm going to talk to you all about the covenant and what he tells us that many pe preachers and pastors have done violence to his law, to, to his vineyard. Y'all, they've trampled it up and y'all eaten it up. Amen. Put you in front, in front of my melody. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two. You and I, Yeshua. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are all that matters. Yahweh, Yahweh, you are all that matters. Oh, way, Yahweh, you are all that matters. Oh, way, Yahweh. Nakushebe Abba. If I didn't have you in my life, what would I do? If you take your Holy Ghost, we're professing Christ be like David, do not take your spirit from us, Father God. If, you, if, you, if I didn't see your light, Lord, We put you in front, Father God. Front of everything, Holy Father. You're the one that goes before us. You're the one that goes before us, destroying the enemy, dealing with all things, Father God. Moving the mountains and making our path straight, Father God. 
We make room for only you and I in your spirit, Father God. Your hand, Holy Father, let it be heavy upon us. In front of my melody, you are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, make room for two. You and your spirit, Yahshua, Messiah, Jesus. You are all that matters, Yahweh. You are the all that matters, Yahovah. El Shaddai Rapha, our Elohim, Akushim. We will give them all to you. Is it the name? Is it the fame? Where's nothing without you? What would I become of me if you, if I didn't see your light, Father God? The Kushibi of a. You did hold my hand. Now you fail to realize that you were all I had. You were all that mattered to me. You were all that mattered to me. Front of my melody, you're the old. You are all that matters. I'll make room for two, just for you, Christ, and your Spirit, and the Creator, Father. Abba, Jekushe, be Abba, Iku, Lui, Yo, manifest yourself, Holy Father. In all our circumstances, we need you, Lord. There's done nothing impossible for you, Father. I give you glory, Lord. I give you glory, and I thank you that you hear us, Lord. We bless you, Lord, and we thank you. We make only room for you and your word in our lives, Holy Father. As we go into this word, Lord, I ask you that your Holy Spirit be upon the hearers that are out there and the ones that share, Father God, these videos of your truth, not for us, but for your glory. You are all that matters. Yahweh, Yahweh. You are all that matters. Yahweh, Yahweh. Cleanse the land, Father God. Cleanse the land in the mighty name of Christ, your Messiah, Messiah, Jesus. Send down the things that you need you to start waking up even more. Your Holy Ghost to fill us and fill our light, Father God. Fill us with your light. Fill us with your anointing. Let it drip on us like honey, Father God, so we can go out there, great I am, great creator, AIA, to do your will the way you need us to. Amen. Start binding the work of the enemy that's here, Lord. Anywhere around where we are at, Lord, by faith and believing you, I know that you are working. You know, the Bible tells us in the scripture, he tells all readers, believers, and speakers what his covenant is. And how we're taught to corrupt and we we uh, disannul his his um, his ordinances, his covenant to break it. And we do not have knowledge of it. And it causes many to stumble at the law. Malachi 2, 7, 8. Amen. Our Father tells the Spirit, brothers and sisters, and all of you that have an ear to you, you can be rebellious, you can be stiff naked, you can be hard headed and not accept it. Well, that's okay. Because heaven's not for everybody. Just the chose the, the ones that, that show that first and foremost that God chose you. Second of all, the ones that decided to crucify the flesh, to die, to self, to rise to life in Christ. Amen. The Bible tells us in Deuteronomy 4, 12, and 13. And the Lord spoke unto out of the midst of the fire. Ye heard the voice of the words, but saw no simulation that you have heard a vow. And declared unto you his covenant, which he commanded you to, even the Ten Commandments. And he wrote them on two tablets of stone with his finger. Exodus 31, 18 tells you, and he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of 
communion with him upon Mount Sinai, two tablets of testimony, tablets of stone, written with him. Amen. Exodus 34, 27, 28 tells us, And the Lord said unto Moses, Write these words, for after them, after these words, I have made a covenant with the and with Israel. And he was with, and he was with the Lord days, forty days and forty nights. He did neither eat nor drink water. All he wrote upon the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Amen. Many people are going to struggle, and they think, they think, oh, that's the old covenant. According to the Word of God, He tells us in His in the New Testament what His new covenant is going to be. Continue if you want to, but the, it's written, Amen. Not only is it written in the Scriptures, but it's written in your mind and in the tablet of your heart. Deuteronomy five eleven five one. I mean, Jeremiah 8, 8 through 10, and Hebrews 8, 8 through 10, I'm sorry, and Jeremiah 31, 31 to 33 says, Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will establish a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judea, not like the covenant that I made with their fathers, that they did not keep it. In that in the covenant I will put my laws into their minds and on their hearts. And I will be their God and they will be my people. And he tells you that in the New Testament. Amen. Praise God. The Bible tells us many times to keep his commandments. And he talks about it in the New Testament as well. Amen. When you truly... Read to understand the word of the Most High. The Almighty explains many things. Even more to be aware of the wolves. Or the ministers of the devil. With their schemes and deceivers. The Almighty creator of all things. That set ordinances, statutes, precepts and judgments. Tells us his holy covenant in the Old Testament. And reaffirms it even in the New Testament. In the New Testament, many do not heed, for he says and explains that those that teach you make you worthless and have done violence to his, his covenant. Jeremiah 2, 8, the priest said, not where is the Lord, and they that handled the law knew not the pastor clothes, the pastor's also transgressed against me and prophets prophesied by Baal and walked after things that do not profit. Ezekiel 22, 25 to 27 says the conspiracy of the prince, princes in her midst is like like a roaring lion tearing the prey. They devour the people, seize the treasure and precious things and not multiply the wisdom within her. Her priests do violence to my law and profane my holy things. They make no difference between the holy thing and the common. Neither have they taught difference between the unclean and the clean. And have led the eyes from my, and they have hid their eyes from my Sabbath. And I, and I am profane among them. Amen. Many people, Jeremiah 10. Uh, Leviticus 10, 10 is you must distinguish between holy and the common, between the clean and unclean. So ask yourself, if the things that you are doing are clean, if they would be approved by the Most High for you to be defiling yourself with. Amen. And I leave you guys with that this evening. Amen. It's, it's a covenant. The covenant are the Ten Commandments. There are more laws that are going to be written in your heart and in your mind so that you can distinguish what's right and what's wrong. And woe to you who know the right thing to do and you don't do it. Amen. I love you guys. Have a blessed and wonderful evening. The Lord of hosts loves you. My Master Christ died for you spirits. To so you remnant that is waking up out of the darkness into the marvelous to be obedient to what he has said.
I love you. In Christ the human seed, Jesus' mighty name, I love you. And may, may his work, world, word do its work in your heart. You got to swallow that bitter pill that we've been deceived and you've been lied to through these ministers that are carnal and are taught by men and not led by the Holy Spirit. Don't fall into that trap and that snare. Amen. I'm praying for all of y'all. I be God believes in all of y'all. Just like he believed in this wretched wretch that was unworthy of it. But guess what? He's making the least to be more. And be, be. Praise the Lord. And give him his due for counting you worthy. Have a blessed and wonderful evening.